Blackburn Rovers FC Wikipedia article audio Blackburn Rovers Football Club slash BLAEKB RNRO V RZ slash is a professional football club in Blackburn, Lancashire, England, which competes in League One, the third tier of the English Football League system, following relegation from the championship at the end of the 2016-17 season. The club was established in 1875, becoming a founding member of the Football League in 1888 and the Premier League in 1992. In 1890, Rovers moved to Ewood Park. Blackburn Rovers have been English champions three times, and have won six FA Cups and one Football League Cup. The club has spent most of its existence in the top flight of English football. History Early years In 1992, Rovers gained promotion to the new Premier League a year after being taken over by local entrepreneur Jack Walker, who installed Kenny Dalglish as manager. In 1995, Rovers became Premier League champions. In the 1998-99 season, the club was relegated. It was promoted back to the Premier League two years later, in the 2001 season. It has qualified for the UEFA Cup four times, once as League Cup winners, twice as the Premier League's sixth-placed team and once via the Inter Toto Cup. The club's motto is Arte et Labor, by skill and hard work in Latin. The club was founded following a meeting, at the Ledger Hotel, Blackburn, on November 5, 1875. The meeting was organized by two young men, namely John Lewis and Arthur Constantine. The purpose of the meeting was to discuss the possibility of forming a football club to play under association rules. The first match played by Blackburn Rovers took place in Church, Lancashire on December 18, 1875 and was a 1-1 draw. On September 28, 1878, Blackburn Rovers became one of 23 clubs to form the Lancashire Football Association. On November 1, 1879 the club played in the FA Cup for the first time beating the Tyne Association Football Club 5-1. Rovers were eventually put out of the competition in the third round after suffering a heavy 6-0 defeat by Nottingham Forest. On March 25, 1882 the club won through to the final of the FA Cup against the Old Etonians. Blackburn Rovers was the first provincial team to reach the final but the result was a 1-0 defeat by the Old Etonians. Football League Commences Rovers finally won the FA Cup on March 29, 1884 with a 2-1 victory over the Scottish team Queen's Park. The same teams played the FA Cup final again the next season, with Blackburn Rovers again emerging victorious with the 2-0 score. Rovers repeated this success yet again the next season, winning the final replay 2-0 against West Bromwich Albion. For this three in a row of FA Cup victories, the club was awarded a specially commissioned silver shield. The 1885-86 season was the birth of the legal professional footballer, and Blackburn Rovers spent £615 on player wages for the season. Early 20th Century Blackburn Rovers were founder members of the Football League in 1888. Blackburn Rovers again reached the FA Cup final on March 29, 1890 at the Kennington Oval. The club claimed the trophy for the fourth time, 
by beating Sheffield Wednesday a hefty 6-1 with left forward William Townley scoring three goals and becoming the first player to achieve a hat-trick in the FA Cup Final. The 1890-91 season saw Blackburn Rovers win the FA Cup for the fifth time against Notts County with a 3-1 victory. During the 1897-98 season the club stayed in the first division only as the result of a decision to increase the number of teams from 16 to 18. The season did, however mark the beginning of Bob Crompton's 45-year association with the club, both as a player and eventually as an FA Cup winning manager. Mid-20th century Blackburn Rovers continued to struggle during the early years of the 20th century, but the results began a gradual improvement. Major renovations were made to Ewood Park, in 1905 the Darwin End was covered at a cost of £1,680 and the new Nuttall Stand was opened on New Year's Day 1907. During the first three decades of the 20th century, Blackburn Rovers were still considered a top side in the English League. They were first division champions in 1911-12 and 1913-14 and FA Cup winners in 1927-28 with a 3-1 victory against Huddersfield Town, but the FA Cup win was their last major trophy for nearly 70 years. 1970s and 1980s Blackburn Rovers maintained a respectable mid-table position in the first division until they were finally relegated from the top flight in the 1935-36 season. 1990s When the league resumed after the war, Blackburn Rovers were relegated in their second season. At this time the tradition of burying a coffin began. The club remained in the second division for the following ten years. After promotion in 1958, they again returned to the mid-table position they had occupied in the earlier part of the century. During this time, they seldom made a serious challenge for a major trophy although they did reach the 1960 FA Cup final when managed by Scott Daly Duncan. Rovers lost this game 3-0 to Wolverhampton Wanderers after playing most of the game with only 10 men on the field following an injury to Dave Wellen, who broke a leg. There were brief hopes of a return to glory in the 1963-64 season, when a remarkable 8-2 away win over West Ham United in East London on Boxing Day took them to the top of the league. However, their lead of the league was short-lived and they finished the season some way down the table as the title was seized by a Liverpool side who would record a further 12 league titles over the next 26 years while Blackburn's fortunes took a very different route. They were again relegated from the first division in 1966 and began a 26-year exile from the top division. 2000s During the 1970s, Blackburn Rovers bounced between the second and third divisions, winning the third division title in 1975 but never mounted a challenge for promotion to the first division despite the efforts of successive managers to put the club back on track, and fell back into the third division in 1979. They went up as runners-up in the third division in 1980 and have remained in the upper two tiers of the English league ever since. A second successive promotion was nearly achieved the following year, but the club missed out on goal difference, and promotion-winning manager Howard Kendall moved to Everton that summer. Kendall's successor, Bobby Saxton only managed mid-table finishes for the next three seasons, then nearly achieved promotion in the 1984-85 season, but a poor finish the following year followed by an abysmal start to the 1986-87 season cost Saxton his job. Saxton was replaced by Don McKay, 
who steered them to a decent finish that season and also victory in the full Members' Cup. In the following three seasons McKay re-established Rovers as promotion contenders, but they fell just short of promotion each time, the closest they came was in 1988-89 reached the second division playoff final in its last ever season of the home away two-legged format but lost to Crystal Palace. A defeat in the 1989-90 second division playoff semi-finals brought more frustration to Ewood Park but the following season saw the club taken over by local steelworks owner and lifelong supporter Jack Walker. Following the Walker takeover Rovers finished 19th in the second division at the end of the 1990-91 season, but the new owner had made millions of pounds available to spend on new players and appointed Kenny Dalglish as manager in October 1991. Rovers secured promotion to the new FA Premier League at the end of 1991-92 season as playoff winners, ending 26 years outside the top flight. Rovers made headlines in the summer of 1992 by paying an English record fee of £3.5 million for the 22-year-old Southampton and England centre forward Alan Shearer. After finishing fourth in 1992-93 and runners-up in 1993-94, they went on to win the Premier League title in 1994-95. The title chase went down to the last game of the season, but despite Rovers losing to Liverpool they edged out rivals Manchester United to win the championship. Kenny Dalglish moved upstairs to the position of director of football at the end of the Premier League winning season, and handed over the reins to his assistant Ray Harford. Blackburn Rovers made a poor start to the 1995-96 season, and found themselves in the bottom half for most of the first half of the season. Rovers also struggled in the Champions League and finished bottom of their group with just four points. A terrible start to the 1996-97 Premier League campaign saw Harford resign in late October with the club bottom of the division, having failed to win any of their first ten games. Relegation looked a real possibility, just two seasons after winning the league. After an abortive attempt to bring in Sven-Goran Eriksson as manager, Long-serving coach Tony Parks took over as manager for the rest of the campaign, narrowly steering the side to survival. That summer, the manager's job was taken by Roy Hodgson, who joined the club from Internazionale. UEFA Cup football was secured with a sixth-place finish. However, Rovers made a poor start to the 1998-99 campaign and Hodgson was sacked in December less than an hour after a 2-0 home defeat by bottom side Southampton, a result that locked Rovers in the relegation zone. He was replaced as manager by Brian Kidd. However, he could not save them as the club slipped away. Relegation was confirmed with a scoreless draw at home to Manchester United in the penultimate game of the season. 2010 onwards In 1999-2000 Rovers began the season as promotion favourites, but with the club hovering just above the Division 1 relegation zone Brian Kidd was sacked in October and replaced in March by Graham Souness. Jack Walker died just after the start of the 2001 season, and the club dedicated its promotion challenge in memory of their benefactor. Fittingly, they returned to the Premier League after a much improved season, finishing second behind Fulham. Players In 2001-02, Record signing Andy Cole was bought in for £8 million, and Rovers won their first ever League Cup by beating Tottenham Hotspur 2-1 at the Millennium Stadium in Cardiff, Cole scoring the winner in the 69th minute. The following season Rovers finished sixth to qualify for the UEFA Cup for the second season running. 
Sunis left just after the start of 2004-05 to take charge at Newcastle, and he was replaced by Welsh national coach Mark Hughes. Hughes secured Rovers' Premier League survival for the 2004-05 season as well as an FA Cup semi-final against Arsenal, with Rovers finishing 15th once again. He led the team to 6th the following season and Rovers's third European qualification in five years. Record Goal Scorer Rovers reached the semi-final of the 2006-07 FA Cup, but lost to Chelsea in extra time, and finished that season's league in 10th, qualifying for the Inter Toto Cup which led to a short run in the 2007-08 UEFA Cup. In May 2008, Mark Hughes left Blackburn Rovers for the vacancy at Manchester City. He was replaced by Paul Ince. Ince's first job was to persuade some of the want-away players to stay. With Archie Knox coming in as his assistant. Ince's time in charge started well but following a run of 11 games without a win he was sacked in December 2008. Sam Allardis was appointed as Ince's replacement and in 2009-10 he led the team to a 10th place finish in a League Cup semi-final. In November 2010, the Indian company VH Group bought Blackburn Rovers under the name of Venkis London Limited for £23 million. The new owners immediately sacked manager Sam Allardis and replaced him with first-team coach Steve Keane, initially on a temporary basis, but by January 2011 he had been awarded a full-time contract until June 2013. Keane's appointment was shrouded in a great deal of controversy since his agent Jerome Anderson had earlier played a major role in advising Venkis during the takeover of the club in the preceding months. Record Attendance at Ewood Park In December 2011, Blackburn Rovers posted an annual pre-tax loss of £18.6 million for the year ending June 30, 2011. Despite this, the owners of Blackburn Rovers provided assurances over the continued funding of the club, even if they were relegated. Current Squad Out on Loan Development Slash Academy Squad Notable former and existing players On May 7, 2012, the club was relegated to the championship after being defeated at home by Wigan Athletic in the penultimate game of the season, ending 11 years in the Premier League. Transfer fee paid At the start of the 2012-2013 season, Steve Keane, the manager in charge for the previous relegation season, was given a chance by owners to win promotion and kept his job as the manager. Ultimately though, pressure from the supporters who had been calling for the manager's removal for months resulted in his resignation as manager on September 29, 2012. On May 7, 2017, five years to the day after dropping out of the Premier League, the club saw their second relegation since being taken over by their current owners as they descended into League One the first Premier League champions to sink into the third tier. Note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Transfer fee received For recent transfers, C 2017-18 Blackburn Rovers FC season Note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. For a list of notable Blackburn Rovers players in sortable table format see list of Blackburn Rovers FC players. Awards Unlike most teams, 
Blackburn Rovers have only ever had one design to their home kit. The distinctive blue and white halved jersey is widely acknowledged as the town colour. Although the design has remained the same, the side in which the colours fall has often changed. Blue has resided on the wearer's left since 1946 however prior to this regulation the blue and white often switched order almost yearly. Blackburn Rovers' first ever kit is however indefinite. The 1905 book, Book of Football by Jonathan Russell describes Blackburn Rovers' first kit as a white jersey with Maltese cross on the wearer's left breast, trousers, and a blue and white skull cap. The Maltese cross notorious with the public schools in which the founders of the club were educated. In contrast an account from the Blackburn Standard on January 6, 1894 accounts the first kit as navy blue and white quartered jersey, white knickers, and navy hose. This account is much more synonymous with the kit today. Photographic evidence from 1878 shows the team in blue and white halved jerseys, white shorts, and blue socks complete with blue and white cap and Maltese cross. Through its history the club has adopted four badges as its crest, the Maltese cross, the town's coat of arms, Lancashire Rose, and the present-day Blackburn Rovers badge. From 1875-1882 the Maltese cross was present on the club's first ever home kit and was worn by both the Shrewsbury and Malvern school teams. Two former Malvernians and two former Salopians played in that first team, so there is a clear link with these public schools. Player of the Season Club Honours League During FA Cup Finals it is tradition for the club to adopt the town's coat of arms as their badge. This tradition has carried through all eight FA. Cup Finals The Cup has been a part of all the way to their last FA Cup Final against Wolverhampton Wanderers in 1960. From roughly 1882 and excluding Cup Finals the club did not use a badge until 1974. In this year the club opted for an embroidered Lancashire rose with the club's initials BRFC. Below. This badge lasted unchanged for 15 years until it was 1989 due to visibility issues of the dark red rose on the dark blue of the shirt. From 1989 to the present day the current Blackburn Rovers badge has been used. It has encompassed the previous badge in a newer design for the Lancashire red rose. Circling the rose is the team name Blackburn Rovers FC and the date in which the club was founded 1875. At the base of the badge is the club motto, Arte et Labor which translated means, by skill and by labor. This motto has been taken from the town motto which was adopted in 1852. As of 2016, the club's kit has been manufactured by Umbro and sponsored by Asian sports betting brand, Daffabet since 2015. Venkis Cups Prostate Cancer UK Rover's first home ground was a field at Ooze Head on Preston New Road to the northwest of the town. This field was farmland and was owned by a local farmer. When Blackburn Rovers weren't using the field it was used to graze cows. In the center of the field was a large watering hole, which on match days was covered with timber and turf. Due to the rough conditions at Ooze Head, the committee felt an established sports ground would be best to play on. Therefore, during the 1877 season they acquired the use of Pleasington's cricket ground to the southwest of the town. Play stopped on this ground after Henry Smith of Preston North End died of a heart attack whilst playing. Still adopting cricket grounds, 
the committee acquired the use of the East Lancashire Cricket Club's ground in the centre of the town, Alexandra Meadows. Sources differ as to the date of the first match played by Rovers at Alexandra Meadows. A program from Clitheroe FC states that Clitheroe was the first team to beat Blackburn at Alexandra Meadows on November 17, 1877. Other sources indicate that the first match took place on January 2, 1878 with a Blackburn victory against Partick Thistle. It was on this ground Blackburn Rovers played for the first time under artificial light against Accrington on November 4, 1878. Due to the increasing demand in football in the area and in particular for Blackburn Rovers the committee felt that a private ground was more fitting. Therefore, in 1881, the club moved to Lemington Road. Blackburn Rovers' first purpose-built ground including a 700-person capacity seated grandstand, costing £500. The first game played at this ground was held on October 8, 1881 against Blackburn Olympic resulting in a 4-1 win for Rovers. Whilst at Lemington Road and under James Fielding the club won three FA Cups and was inaugurated into the Football League as a founding member in 1888. However, despite the club's success, they had to leave Lemington Road due to increases in lease costs. Built in April 1882 as Ewood Bridge the ground was an all-purpose sporting venue hosting football, athletics, and dog racing. The Blackburn Rovers committee felt this was the ideal venue for the club after having already played numerous games there in 1882. The first game played at the new Ewood Park ground was on September 13, 1890 against Accrington, the 0-0 draw was viewed by 10,000 people and on October 31, 1892 artificial lights were installed. Ewood sits on the bank of the River Darwin in Blackburn, Lancashire. Blackburn Rovers supporters have formed several support clubs related to the team, and almost all of them are partially focused on making trips to Ewood Park easier. Rovers' home games were well attended as a percentage of the Blackburn population throughout the 2000s with average attendances of around 25,000, equal to roughly a quarter of Blackburn's population. The supporters' long-running fanzine is called 4,000 Holes. As of and including September 1, 2011. Derek Fazakar Lee 593 plus 3 sub, 1970-71 to 1986-87. Simon Garner, 194 goals, 1978-79 to 1991-92. European Season-by-season season record. 62,255 v Bolton Wanderers. FA Cup 6th Round, March 2, 1929 £8 million to Manchester United for Andrew Cole in December 2001, Pound 8M to Huddersfield Town for Jordan Rhodes in August 2012 Managerial History £18 million from Manchester City FC for Rock Santa Cruz in June 2009 Team colours and badge Kit Grounds Oozhead Ground 1875-1877 Pleasington Cricket Ground 1877 Alexandra Meadows 1877-1881 International Venue Lemington Road 1881-1890 International Venue 2 Ewood Park 1890 Present International Venue 3 Supporters Statistics and Records Records
11-0 v Rossendale United, Ewood Park, FAW Cup First Round October 13, 1884. 9-0 v Middlesbrough, Ewood Park, Division 2, November 6, 1954. 8-2 v West Ham United, Division 1, December 26, 1963. 08 v Arsenal, Division 1, February 25, 1933, 08 v Lincoln City, Division 2, August 29, 1953. 17 v Notts County, March 14, 1891 17 v Middlesbrough, November 29, 1947. 13 58 v Derby County, September 6, 1890. 60. 91. 20. 31. Walter Crook, 208. Ted Harper, 43, Division 1, 1925-26. Tommy Briggs. 7 v Bristol Rovers, Ewood Park, Division 2, February 5, 1955. 8, 1963-64. 13, Jack Southworth, 1887-1893. Ronnie Clayton, 56, 1949-1969. 1969 Derek Fazakar Lee, 38, 1969-1987. Harry Dennison, aged 16 YRS in 155 days against Bristol City, Division 1, April 8, 1911. Bob Crompton, 40 YRS in 150 days against Bradford, Division 1. February 23, 1920. 24 games including three consecutive FA Cup wins, 1884-86. Still in FA Cup record. Reference for above facts. Coordinates, 53 degree 43 42.85, and 2 degree 29 21.14, W. Slash 53.7285694 degrees north 2.4892056 degrees west Slash 53.7285694 2.4892056 Record win Record league win Record away win Record league defeat Record Home League Defeat Record Aggregate League Score Most Points Gained in a Season Most Points Gained in a Season Least Points Gained in a Season Least Points Gained in a Season Most Consecutive League Appearances Most Goals Scored by a Player in a Season most goals scored by a player in a match. Most hat tricks in a season. Most individual hat tricks. Most FA Cup appearances. Most League Cup appearances. Youngest player to appear for Rovers. Oldest player to appear for Rovers. Longest undefeated FA Cup run.